The Tesla Roadster is Elon Musk's fastest creation yet, and it is impressive. I mean impressive. Musk's astonishing vehicle has utterly destroyed the lightning quick records set by Ferrari and Lamborghinis in the past. However, its reign atop the fastest car ranks hasn't lasted very long. Some other notable companies and competitors have been putting down their own hypercars, going so far as spending upwards of $150 million and attaining hair raising speeds of over 300 miles per hour just to develop a vehicle that can surpass Tesla's finest. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at some of these incredible machines and how they stack up against Elon Musk's infamous Roadster. Fasten your seatbelt because we're going to be racing through some of the fastest and most expensive hypercars ever created. Before I get to the competition, let's take a look at the benchmark, the Tesla Roadster, and what a benchmark it is. Leading up to the release of this vehicle, there was serious hype and with good reason. Allow me to share some staggering statistics on the car. The Tesla Roadster has a top speed of over 250 miles per hour and a quarter mile time of just 8.8 .8 seconds. That translates to a 0 to 60 MPH acceleration in a mere 1.9 seconds. For reference, F1 vehicles achieve the same feat in 1.6. Yeah, that's less time than it just took your jaw to drop. Though the company website does not specify the horsepower produced by the three electric engines, the Tesla Roadster is seriously fast. The car retails at $257,000 and Tesla is currently taking reservations. No doubt it'll take a few sales for Musk to recoup the large portion of Tesla's $1.4 billion research and development budget that helped make the Roadster a reality in the first place. However, all of the impressive things I just told you about the Tesla may be causing some people to put their car on an undeserved pedestal. In in reality, there are a number of other vehicles that can leave the Roadster in the dust. Don't believe me? Just wait and see. The first of the speed demons we need to talk about is the Hennessy Venom F5. If you thought the name was intimidating, wait until you hear the top speed. The Venom F5 tops out at 301 miles per hour. Yeah, you heard that correctly. The Venom F5's top speed blows the Tesla Roadster clean out of the water. But what's most shocking about this is that it isn't even the fastest car on the list. That would be the Bugatti Chiron, but we'll get to that real soon. So how does the Venom F5 stack up against the Roadster? Well, its top speed is certainly higher. It puts out over 1,800 horsepower and does 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, which is a little bit slower than the Tesla. You may be wondering, how can I get my hands on one of these? Well, it'll be pretty hard, as Hennessy is only building 24 of them in 2020. And the base price is a whopping $1.8 million. But if you're rich and influential enough, maybe they can squeeze you onto their list. You'll definitely find yourself doing some squeezing if you ever get your hands on the wheel of this next car, the SSC Tuatara. The Tuatara is actually a rare nocturnal lizard native to New Zealand, and is a fitting name for its exotic beauty. The SSC Tuatara was revealed to the public in 2019, and the American-made monster features a 5.9-liter V8 that pumps out 1,750 horsepower. Good for a top speed of 300 miles per hour. Those stats definitely eclipse the Tesla Roadster, although the SSC Tuatara does 0 to 60 in a slightly slower 2.5 seconds, compared to Tesla's 1.9. SSC or Shelby Supercars only produced 100 of the Tuatara, tacking on a steep $1.3 million price tag. To put that in perspective, you could buy five Roadsters for that price, though your collection might not be as exclusive. If you're enjoying this video, please be sure to click the like button and leave a comment. Your engagement is what gets my engine revving. All right, let's get back to the track. This next car had a difficult name to pronounce, and it might be even harder to see when it's blowing past you on the road. It's Koenigsegg Jesko. Jesko is an homage to the company's founder, Jesko Koenigsegg, and also means the brave one in German. The name is fitting because it'll take some bravery to get behind the wheel of this machine. The Jesko was revealed in 2019 at the Geneva Motor Show and features a 5-liter twin-turbocharged V8 that cranks out 1,600 horsepower. Koenigsegg produced only 125 units of this supercar and charged a whopping 2 2.8 million each. In spite of that, the company had absolutely no problem selling the car as they were sold out even before the car was unveiled in Geneva. The car has a staggering top speed of 300 miles per hour, which surpasses the Tesla Roadster. However, and this is becoming a trend, it does 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, which again can't quite match Musk's Roadster. Still, this car is seriously, seriously fast. Just take a look at the Jesco effortlessly sailing past a Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> Not too shabby. Though the Jesco beat the Bugatti Veyron, 
Veyron, which is impressive. It definitely does not beat the next Bugatti, the Chiron. While its predecessor topped out at 267 miles per hour, the Chiron eclipses all other top speeds with a record 304 miles per hour. That's right, this is currently the fastest supercar in the world. The Chiron's first edition was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 2016 and features Bugatti's signature 8-liter quad turbocharged W16 engine. The Chiron creates a modest 1,480 horsepower, which is somewhat less than many of its closest competitors in spite of its record top speed. But how does it stack up against the Tesla Roadster? Well, the story is much the same. Although it surpasses the Tesla and other key stats, the Chiron does 0 to 60 in an impressive 2.4 seconds. That still falls flat to Tesla's 1.9 second benchmark. Although it's safe to say that after 1.9 seconds, the Chiron would remain comfortably ahead of the Roadster. In 2020, Bugatti will be building 20 of these very special machines, and each one will sell for $3 million. Every car we've seen so far would beat the Tesla in top speed, but not in acceleration. Well, this next car is finally going to change that pattern. That car would be the Porsche Taycan. This extraordinary vehicle produces a mind-blowing 1914 horsepower, can achieve a top speed of 257 miles per hour, and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 1.85 seconds flat. Given these stats, the Porsche Taycan is the only car that completely sweeps the Tesla Roadster in all statistics. However, there is one area where the Tesla Roadster surpasses it. The Taycan, like the Roadster, is fully electric. However, the Taycan only does 400 miles on a single charge, whereas the Roadster does 620. The exterior of the car is absolutely gorgeous, featuring those distinct Porsche lines, though packaged in a new and exciting way that demonstrates the car's innovative origins. Porsches claim that they spent over $1 billion. Yeah, that's B for a billion developing the Taycan. With a price tag of only $125,000 and the stats as impressive as they are, this car may just be the one to knock Elon Musk off his pedestal for good. Now that we've got our focus on acceleration, let's take a look at a car even quicker than the Taycan, the Aspark Owl. This vehicle claims to be the first Japanese-made fully electric supercar with record-breaking acceleration. To confirm this, let's take a look at the numbers. The Aspark Owl boasts four electric motors and combines to put out 1,985 horsepower. It has a reported top speed of 249 miles per hour and can jump from 0 to 60 in 1.69 seconds, making it the quickest supercar on planet Earth. However, there is a drawback, as the fully electric supercar boasts a modest range of only 280 miles per charge. In terms of design, the Aspark Owl's sleek exterior is meant to highlight the feminine, according to the company. Although the exotic beauty is still in production, the company has claimed that they will be producing up to 50 of them in late 2020, and that they'll have a projected price tag of $3.2 million. Can you imagine? But hey, with an electric engine and the title of quickest car on planet Earth, maybe that's money well spent. Electric engines and hefty price tags abound on this list, and the next car is more the same, the Rimac Concept 2. Founded by 30-year-old Croatian visionary Mate Rimac in 2009, Rimac calls themselves a technology powerhouse, and they certainly are. The company's been providing electric motors for companies like Koenigsegg and Jaguar, and recently signed a $158 million deal with the Camel Group to create improvements on their electric motors in China. Their latest masterpiece, the Concept 2, is an all-electric and downright futuristic hypercar with 1914 horsepower, a top speed of 258 miles per hour, and a 0 to 60 acceleration time of only 1.85 seconds. These stats, as you may have noticed, sweep those of the Tesla Roadster. In terms of range, however, Elon Musk remains on top, as the Rimac Concept 2's range tops out at 400 miles per charge. That being said, the Concept 2 does hold the futuristic perk of being able to start via facial recognition. The company's made only 150 Concept 2's and tacked on a base price of $2 million. However, However, being the technological powerhouse they are, Rimac also offers $600,000 worth in options for those who want to be right on the cutting edge. If that was you, look no further than the Zing Mobility Miss R prototype. Though this car is not yet in production, Taiwanese company Zing Mobility has made it clear that they want to create a supercar quicker than the Tesla Roadster. The company is relatively unknown, and in fact only has one other model, the hilariously named Mr. T electric truck unveiled at the Taipei Autotronics show. It's unclear when the car will go into production, but Zing Mobility claims its Miss R model will produce 1,341 horsepower and accelerate from 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds. The 
car's exterior may be lacking the flash and dazzle of many of the competitors on this list, but Zing Mobility claims the Miss R will be rally-inspired, and so capable of driving on dirt or gravel as well as on pavement. That would certainly distinguish Miss R from the competitors. What do you think about Miss R's design? Let me know if looks are a deal-breaker for you in the comments below. All this talk about the future has me looking ahead to this next car, the Pininfarina Batista. Arriving in 2020, the Batista will be the perfect marriage between style and power. And it's fully electric. Hand assembled in Italy, the Batista features a 1900 horsepower electric engine that leaps from zero to 60 in under two seconds. Pininfarina's team of engineers and designers also have relationships with Rimac, who have helped the Batista's technological components, and with Ferrari, as Pininfarina has helped to craft over 100 Ferrari models since 1947. The most recent to these was the Ferrari Sergio, named after Sergio Pininfarina, the Pininfarina's design house founder. However, the Ferrari Sergio and its $3 million price tag couldn't quite match the performance of the more modestly priced $2 million Batista. Pininfarina plans to build 150 units of the Batista, making it one of the more exclusive and expensive cars on the list. However, the most expensive honors go to the Bugatti Chiron and its $3 million price. Well, that's all for today. What do you think of the electric cars on this list? Do you think they really outperform the gasoline models? Convince me in the comments. Please leave a like and share this video with all your friends. Also, remember to subscribe and click that little bell. Then you'll be notified whenever we post something new. And you recharge my battery, so I keep going. Thanks for joining us today on The Richest. See you next time.